Hello and welcome to Wisdom Trek. This is Guthrie Chamberlain and I'm your guide to wisdom and creating a living legacy. Thank you for joining us for our seven day a week, seven minutes of wisdom podcast. This is day 178 of our trek and yesterday we explored Thanksgiving through the Bible as we focused on some key verses. Today we want to climb the five steps to a thankful Thanksgiving. If you miss any of our days of Wisdom Trek episodes, please go to wisdom-trek.com to listen to them and to read our daily journal. We are recording our podcast from our studios at the Big House in Marietta, Ohio today. With client workload a little bit less, it is our hope to start putting some structure onto our plans that are going into 2016. We see several areas of opportunities, but we want to make sure that we focus on the wise opportunities for this season of life. As with many of our decisions that we make in our lives, it is not a choice between good or bad options, those are clear. But choosing the wisest option among the several possible good options. And the more that you focus on making wise choices, the more you will realize just how very important this really is. Tomorrow we will celebrate Thanksgiving in the United States, and we have been focusing on Thanksgiving all this week. We have learned much through these nuggets of wisdom and thankfulness, so today we want to climb the five steps to have a thankful Thanksgiving. If your home is like most, your Thanksgiving day will be very busy with either traveling to where you want to go or preparing your home to have others in for the day. Either way, that can be very hectic and emotionally trying, which doesn't really lend itself to preparing your heart to be reflective and thankful. This means all the more if we want to be the kind of people who are characterized by thankfulness, then we must make sure that we focus on it, and not just for Thanksgiving Day, but for every day throughout the year. Here are some steps as well as some thoughts that are simple and practical to apply, something you can use right away in your quest to becoming more thankful. The first step is time. Set aside time regularly to be quiet and to reflect. We live in the fastest paced time ever. From the moment that we wake up to the moment that we collapse in bed, we have the opportunity to go full speed and we never slow down. But if we do schedule time every day in which we can be quiet and reflect, we will free our hearts and minds from the tyranny of the urgent and the rushed. Psalms 119.15 says this, I will study your commandments and reflect on your ways. The second step we want to take today is thought. Give thought to the many blessings that you have. Living in a consumer culture that most of us do, we are fully aware of what we do not have and how we must absolutely have it. But how often do you reflect on what you already have? Take some time each day to think about one or two things that you may typically take for granted and take a moment to give thanks for those. Psalms 85, 12. Yes, the Lord pours down His blessings. Our land will yield a bountiful harvest. The third step is the generosity step. Be generous toward those with less and not envious of those with more. We tend to look at others who may be wealthier than ourselves and think, I sure wish I had what he does. That kind of thinking breeds envy and jealousy rather than contentment. What can we do to break this cycle? Well, one thing I would suggest is being generous to those who are less fortunate than yourself. For instance, go and work at a food bank. This should not be done just during the holiday, everyone works there then, but on a regular basis throughout the year. This will remind you of how good you really do have it. Psalm 112 verse 19, They share freely and give generously to those in need. Their good deeds will be remembered forever. They will have influence and honor. The fourth step we want to look at today is the ask step. The next time that you have lunch with a friend, ask him or her what they are most thankful for. You may be amazed with the answers that you will receive, and it will help you to create a meaningful bond with your friends as you focus on this powerful question. 1 Thessalonians 2 8 We loved you so much that we shared with you not only God's good news, but our own lives too. And the fifth step is the acknowledgement step. Lastly, tell those you love how thankful you are for having them in your lives. So many times we neglect to take the time to craft the words to express to those that are closest to us what their presence in our lives really means to us. Take the opportunity this Thanksgiving day to write them a note or something during the day and put your hand on your shoulder, look them in the eyes and tell them how you really feel. Let them know what they mean to you. And in return, you'll be able to create a possibility of a deeper, richer, more fulfilling relationship with those that you love. Ephesians 5.20 says, And give thanks for everything to God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Of course, we should do all that we can to make the most of the day that we call Thanksgiving, but wouldn't it be a shame if the only time that we reflected on our blessings was the one Thursday in November? And the answer is, of course it would be. So let's do our best to be aware of the many great gifts that we have each day of the year. As we do so, we will see our hearts soar and our minds will experience more and more peace as we regularly remember and remain aware of our good fortune. And I'd like to say, Happy Thanksgiving! 
And now that we've climbed the five steps to a thankful Thanksgiving, let us put them into practice each day. If you are thankful for the nuggets of wisdom that I share with you each day, please encourage your family and friends to join us and then come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. And we will look at the Psalm of Thanksgiving, which is Psalms 100. Now to finish our podcast for today, remember to listen to your daily dose of wisdom each day at wisdom-trek.com or at iTunes, Google Play, or many of the other social media platforms. And if you would, please subscribe, rate, and review the podcast so that we'll gain greater exposure to others. And please share Wisdom Trek with your family and friends through email, Facebook, Twitter, or in person as you meet with them each day and invite them to come along with us. If you'd like to be added to our weekly email update for Wisdom Trek, just text the word WISDOM to 44222 on your phone and you'll receive a message asking you for your email address. It's very quick and easy to do. Our journal for today's trek can be found at wisdom-trek.com. Thank you for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I do consider you my friend as I serve you through this Wisdom Trek podcast and journal each day. As we take this trek together, let us always live abundantly or fully, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. This is Guthrie Chamberlain reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and then create a great day every day. See you tomorrow.